Hi, welcome back to Yoko's art class. Konnichiwa. Today I'm going to introduce you with Japanese sumi ink marble paper. There are so many marbling techniques around the world, but today is Japanese style. Japanese ink is made by carbon, usually black and white, to make a strong contrast or calligraphy we did. But today we make a colorful one with using this marbling kit. They have six colors. If you cannot find it, please contact me. I will give you some information. I need a shallow pan, so I'm gonna put the water here, like this much. And I need bamboo skewer, my favorite tooth. And some Japanese rice paper, small or the big. I have some Japanese rice paper notebook. So I can make, today is a special to make a little dot. So I have to wear in some apron and let's get started. Now I'm wearing the like, apron so not to mess my shirts. I put the water here for well, like half, no, quarter inch of water to enough to paper flow and the ink also flow. So these are six colors I'm going to use from lighter to darker because once you put the darker the water starts to dirty. This marbling kit has this paper it's a floating paper so put the ink on the top of this paper and this is reusable paper but if you need more, I cut with the scissors in the wax paper. That's also good too. Wax paper and put the ink in the top and the float. Okay, so first I'm going to use just a one or two floating paper on the, the water here. And also I'm going to use wax paper here. So first I pour one little ink yellow to the little floating station, okay? They are sitting and floating here. And then I'm going to use blue and maybe the big paper, three dropped. Maybe I'm going to use red on the little tiny floating paper. Okay, so now use a bamboo skewer to push it down. This is the paper. I cut the size, not too big, just a perfect size to put it into the, this pan. So, first, they are still top of the water, it's not marbling yet. So now you can see easily. So this, I'm going to design yellow first. a little bit. Oh, look at that. 
and you can blow from side. So I'm going to use blue a little bit to make a little combination. And little red. Well, a little too much red. I don't know. Depends. So I'm going to add a little more blue into the red part. Okay? I just lift up the little dot, put on the side. And this blue is a little too much, so I'm going to lift up the wax paper and put the top over here. So. Can you see me? Okay. So now I'm going to use a bamboo skewer. The tip of the bamboo skewer. Scrub your nose grease. Okay. I have a lot of nose grease, so put the nose grease on the top. Watch what happened. One little dot. Make a two little dot. Three little dot. You need more grease, go like this. If you put the dot in the blue area. If you stay longer, long, it's tiny, you can go like this, okay. So now, they have a paper holding diagonally like this and dip go <laughs> it's not slowly but and then you can lift up if you stay long it doesn't change nothing change okay so when you see the color suck the old ink you lift up and dry. So now I'm going to use blue again. This time I use uh, green. I have a green here. I just want to know how to do it now how to use uh, bamboo square with nose grease but make sure it, it, if each time not too much grease I'm going to put this one back and I'm going to put the orange so the floating with the wax paper it's you can move around okay so now I'm going to put the blue one again and the green again. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, here we go. Go, go, go. Move this thing. Okay, where's the paper? So green is here. Maybe I'm going to put a little black here this time. And I... Yeah. <laughs> Black is turned to black, so wait a little bit. So, bamboo skewer, clean, put the nose grease here, here, watch, to stay longer you make a big hole, can you see? But I prefer a small dot. Here, look at them. If we want to blow from this side,
change the marble then make a noise again you can wait as much as you want to make the color or pattern Oh, I like this. Nowadays, my enjoyment is to make a hole. So, hold this paper like this diagonally and get once. And pick up from the side. the rest this is a little leftover paper so now I am going to add the black beautiful color so black has a nice contrast yeah look at that and my nose grease okay and this is my bookmark I want to make a big one here too okay so I'm going to put this way this is my bookmark As you said, you can make a little dot here. Then put the paper. Hi, welcome back. This is a result one hour later I dried up so this is a nice color it shows beautiful color so this is just easy only deep in is five minutes and then you have to wait to dry but the result is so good you can make as a wrapping paper or you can write the letter here or you can add some more design at the top so I hope you enjoy Japanese sumi ink marble paper and I hope to see you soon meantime enjoy your day peace out